Hello, Carrie here. I'm going to show you some things I've been doing with uh, this lovely microporous tape. I think in other countries it may be known as surgical tape. This is one inch wide and this is what you get on a roll for under a pound, about 75 pence. Um, it works a lot like washi tape because it's got a nice papery feel to it and it's fairly translucent which is lovely in art projects so what i'm doing is i'm sticking some down onto some plastic um table mat that i cut up and use as a uh, page as book covers but i'm just using this for this project now so i'm just laying a load of pieces out and now i'm going to experiment to see how i can make washi tape with this so i'm going to use the jelly plate to apply some a thin layer of translucent paint on this is my uh, smaller jelly press the five by seven one that i've been using a lot in my recent videos and i'm using some ultramarine blue because it is fairly transparent and i like that color and now i'm going to stamp on it and this is where i'm a little bit disappointed because i stamped and it doesn't show up very well um, I don't know why I later on I'll try a different background color and it stamps perfectly well so um, wait and see and that will be a bit clearer but I didn't want the text to be too prominent anyway because it's meant to be just in the background but the focal pieces I did want to show up a bit better than they do but never mind this is an experiment and I do like the end result anyway so I'm using two different uh, text stamps I've got. They're fairly script-like. And now I'm using one of my um, homemade stencils. This one I cut recently and I haven't used it much, so I thought I'd get that out and use it. It's very similar to one of my swirly ones that I have already. And I'm just going to go in with some magenta pink. I did try rolling it, but sponging it on is the best method for this. I've um, sped this up so it isn't too um, tedious for you because I'm just showing you the idea because once you get the idea you can go away and do the same thing yourself. So my method is to have a background colour, to have some text stamping, then to have some interesting patterns showing and then I'm going to put on some final uh, focal areas. Let's take that off, I'm going to do a little bit more at the top there that wasn't included there so that's some patterns on and now i'm going to go in with some focal points and these again are going to be patterned pieces in the next one i do i use some of the uh, tim holtz insects that i love so much so what i mean they're fairly pale this is a jet black and it's normally very 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 dark and i don't understand quite why it's something to do with the ultramarine blue it's almost like the ultramarine blue is resisting it. Initially, I thought it's the tape, but when you see the next one where I use, instead of the ultramarine background, I use something else. It's totally different. So, but this still turns out really nice. It's just not quite what I expected. But then that's the joy of experimenting is you learn things. I mean, I'll be able to use this technique in something else. I love these, um, these little stamps that have nice swirls. They're great for this sort of... Um, technique and I've got a smaller one as well which I'm going to put on I did try using some of the uh, forget me not archival link but it can't see it at all there so I'll try it twice but no no I tried it a third time so I'll try it on a white bit but really it's not visible so now I'm going to go in with a little bit more stenciling this is a lovely leaf one that I'd forgotten I had actually I'm going to be using that a bit more I think because it's really pretty I'm just going to do this leaf pattern all over. Just cleaning off my uh, roller there. I'm just going in with a sponge and a pale pink colour. It, ha it has to be a pale colour to show up.
And then I'm just doing these uh, little bits at the top that were missed out. So basically just cover over the whole sheet. Then I just need to let it dry. I didn't use a hair dryer just in case it affected the tape and it, <laughs> I didn't want it to curl up and fall off or something. So now I'm just going to dry the tape now, see what it looks like. I'm going to use some of my um, uh, collage papers, see what it looks like on those. I very foolishly tore a whole strip off. I could have just taken a little bit. I'm just going to lay it down, see what it looks like. I like it. So you can see what's underneath showing through. That's the joy of it being translucent, you see. Because you can do this technique with masking tape, but it's too it's too solid a colour and you can't see what's underneath. I'll pop a little bit up there. I like that. So that'll be great to use in collage and in my art journals, obviously. And all sorts of other things. I'm going to try it on this little bit of leftover jelly print. Love it. Yes, that's going to be fun to work with. Um, so to store it, I've cut out a little piece of plastic, rounded the edges, and I'm going to wrap it round this uh, little bit of plastic. And then, that, then I can pop it in my cupboard and use it as when I need it. Or I could send it to somebody as a swap or something like that. Um, piece of mail art or something so that's how I put it on and the good thing is you can wrap it round itself and it won't stick too hard you can still peel it off that was a worry I had that's lovely like that so that's my own handmade washi tape and it has the feel of washi tape being paper it tears easily as well so you just tear a piece off that you need so that's what I do with that so you get the idea of that now I'm going to show you now something else you can do with this tape that um, uh, there it is you see that's lovely so this Yana Valley I'll link to her um, her channel she gave me this idea she told me how to do this in one of her older videos and I've yet I had yet to try it but I thought I'd try it with this washi tape so basically you press it down quite firmly on an old book page I don't know if it notebooks in new ones you peel it off and you end up with tape with lovely text on look at it it's gorgeous can you see that come on focus in I need to move the book out of the way and you better see it better I'm going to stick it down on something to stick it on here just a little piece now it has got some residual stickiness behind it so that will it will stick down but I prefer see it held that's what it looks like but I really do prefer to add some more glue so I'm just using a bit of glue stick sorry you can't see me do that oh here we go I'm adding some glue stick to the back just to make sure it stays down in place. And isn't that lovely? I'm really pleased with that. So it's translucent. You can see what's underneath, but you've got the effect of the text. Love it. So this is my second attempt with the um, washi tape. So I've put some pieces down on the plastic again. And now this time I'm using an ink pad. I'm using the Forget Me Not Colour archival ink. And I've just applied that all over. And now this time, when I go to press the stamps on, for some reason it works. I don't know why, because I've stamped on acrylic paint before and it's been fine. See how much darker it is? That's great. So I'm going to do that all over. Like I did with the other one. Using both stamps again. And then I'm going to get some gold paint and I'm going to use this. This is a cake stencil. I'm going to use some gold paint 
and um, dab it through with a sponge. I like this because it has smaller details of pattern, but I'm not entirely sure it was that clear. But still, I do like the gold. So I'm working all over the um, tapes, making sure they've all got some on them. I'm really pleased with this one when it's done actually you'll see it it doesn't look much at the moment but it does look lovely in the end so apply that all over and there's little bits on the left that's uh, been missed out so I'm applying some there all the way down and that covers that there and now I've got my Tim Holtz insects out. So I'm picking out three. There's a smallish that I'm going to pop on. So I'm going to put those all over. This washi tape will be great in my insect book. So I've got a wasp and a bee. I'm putting those on. I love that little bee. I've already used it a lot, actually. It's cute. I see these stamps are so much clearer. And now I'm putting on the beetle. I love that beetle. He sits perfectly well in that one inch space. And now putting on some swirly shapes as well. They are so much clearer. So this is something to know that for some reason it works better on stamped colour application than acrylic paint. I learn something every day. And some smaller swirly shapes. If I had more colours, I'd use more colours at this point. But I don't really have many stamp pads. I say here it is. Let's try it on something. So I'm going to peel a bit off. Mm, like it. So let's put it on something so you can see. Look. You can see the bit of the sheen as well. I'm going to put this on here. I just did it on the white background. And let's focus. There we go. Isn't that lovely? And now I'm going to put a bit on some book page so you can see how translucent it is because you'll be able to see the text showing through. And if I had to peel that off, I'd have text also. So there it is. I'm really pleased with this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're um, going to try it yourself. Let me know if you do. Thanks for watching. Bye.